9:25 da kuma a wasu tashashin FM a wasu kasashe na Afrika. Masu saurare assalamu alaikum Umaima Sane Abdul Mumin ke fatan kun wani lafiya. A cikin shirin mu na karfe 8 da rabi a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato 7 da rabi kenan a gogon GMT da Ghana. To a cikin shirin za ku ji cewa wani babban common one to wani babban dan majalisa a bangaren jam'iyyar Democrats a Amurka ya bayyana jama'a yani mai shugaba Biden da ya hakura da takararsa. Prime Minister Bangladesh Sheikh Hasina ta gargadin cewa za a hukunta duk wanda aka samu da hannu a kisan da ake wa dalibai shida a zanga zangar kasar. Majalisar da Tijan Najeriya ta aminci da bukatar shugaba Bola Ahmad Tinubu na yin kari a kasa fankon dan kasar na 2024 da naira trilliyan 6.2. Majalisar ta aminci ba shakka muna jiran wannan kasafin kudin yazo musamman na kudaden da za a yi kana albashi da shi. Ayyuka manya mai ayyuka da doko ya fara kuma wasu rai kuma zai yi. Za kuma mu ji yadda ta kasance a taron gwamnonin jam'iyyar Hamayya ta PDP a Najeriya kan yanayi na matsin rayuwa da ake ciki a kasar. Unprecedented hardship. Matsin rayuwa da ba a taba gani irin sa ba wanda mafi yawan yan Najeriya ke fama da shi a sakamakon mummunan tafiyar da mulki na gwamnatin da jam'iyyar APC ke jagoranta a kasar da tattaunawa da ake yi kan batun albashi mafi kankanta da al'akari na musamman. Sharan zai kai mahar Ghana amma sai bayan Aisha Shariba fata gabatar da labarin duniya. Babban dan majalisa bangaren jami'ar Democrats Adam Chef ya kira a baina jama'a ga shugaba Biden akan yi hakura da takarar sa yana kare kira akan wanda ake a cikin jami'ar su. Mr. Chef ya ce kasar na cikin tsaka mai wuya wanda kuma yana da matukar damuwa akan ko shugaba Biden din zai iya kare da shugaba Donald Trump a zaben watan November da za a yi. Yace lokaci yayi da ya kamata Mr Biden ya haƙura da takara domin tsare kimar sa. Mr Biden dai na shan kira kira akan ya haƙura da takara tambayar rashin tabaka abin kirki dai a lokacin muhawarar da suka yi da Donald Trump. Prime Minister Bangladesh Sheikh Hasina ta gargadin cewa za a hukunta duk wanda aka samu da hannu a kisan da aka yi wa dalibai shida a yayin zanga zangar da aka yi a kasar. Tana magana ne kwanaki bayar rikicin da ya barke sakamakon sabuwar doka da aka bullo da ita akan bayar da aiki a gwamnatin kasar yawancin dalibai na sukar kudurin dokar wadda a karkashin ta ta baya ne aka ware wa iyalan wadanda suka yi wa kasar yakin neman yanci guraben aiki shugabannin dalibai sun fusata bayan da Miss Hasina ta bayyana wadanda ke addawa da sabuwar dokar a matsayin Razakar wato wata kalma da wadanda ke da alaka da sojojin Pakistan da suka yaki ke amfani da ita cikin wata hira da BBC minister shari'a na kasar Anisul Haq ya ce we do not want that such incidents should break up and we will surely take steps ya ce ba ma san wani abu makamancin wannan ya sake faruwa kuma za mu tabbata da daukar matakai nan da kwanaki masu zuwa domin ganin ba a sake rikici irin wannan ba jagora adawa Venezuela a Venezuela Maria Corina Machado ta ce an kama babban mai tsaron lafiyar ta kasa da makonni biyu kafin zabukan da za a yi a kasar ta ce an zargi mai tsaron lafiyar ta ta da tin zarafin mata bayan da ya kare ta tare da dan takarar shugabancin kasa a jami'ar su daga wani hari da wasu gungun mata suka yi ƙurin kai musu Mr. Machado ta bayyana lamarin a matsayin tsararre da mahukuntan kasar suka shirya dan a bar su ba tare da masu tsaron lafiyar su ba As the Venezuelan election approaches tensions in the South American Bakin bibi sai ta yinda zaben Venezuela ke karatuwa ana ƙara samun zaman daddar a ƙasar da ke kudancin Amurka kamar da aka yi a baya bayan nan babu abin da zai yi wajen rage zaman daddar din wata kungiyar kare yakin na Adam a kasar ta ce an kama mutum fiye da 100 dake goyen bayan jami'ar adawa ta kasar to labaran duniya na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC Jamus ta sanar da zabtar rabin taimakon sojin da take bai wa Ukraine zuwa dala biliyan 4 a shekara mai zuwa a cewar wani dabtarin kasar bin kudi da majalisar ministocin kasar ta amince da shi ministar kudin kasar Christian Lindner ta bayyana tabbacin wato ta bayar da tabbacin cewa za a ci gaba da bai wa Ukraine ta lafiya karkashin wani shiri na kungiyar kasashe bakwai dake karfin tattalin arziki wato G7 inda za a tara mata dala biliyan 50 daga kudin ruwa na kadururin Russia da aka rufe Jamus ita ce kasa ta biyu da take bai wa Ukraine ta lafi bayan Amurka Fiye da rabin al'umar Sudan na cikin hadarin fuskantar yunwa a yayin da batun shiga da kayan agaji ke fuskantar matsalancin yanayi sakamakon fadin da ake hukumar lafiya ta duniya ta ce yawancin wadanda lambarin zai iya shafa na yankunan da rikiciyar bukamari da kuma inda cutuka suka barke rota hukumar na baya bayan nan ya gargadin cewa 
ene da ake ciki a yanzu na damu na a kasar zai iya shafar hanyoyin kula da lafiya da kuma yadda ake shiga da kayan agaji gargadin ya zo ne a yanda ake ci gaba da tattaunawa da mallasar dinkin duniya ke yi jagoranta tsakanin bangaron da ke rikici da juna a geneva inda aka mar da hankali akan yadda za a riga shigar da kayan agaji da kuma kare fararon hula fiye da mutun 14 aka kashe sana wasu miliyan yuko masu rasa matsagunnan su a rikicin kasar da aka shafi hutanni 15 a nayi to karshen labaran duniya kenan daga nan sashen Hausa da BBC to madalla a gaishe ki Aisha Sharibaf da labaran duniya kamar yadda wata dilo kuka ji cikin labaran duniyar Prime Minister Bangladesh Sheikh Hasina ta gargadi cewa duk masu hannu a mutuwar mutane shida sakamakon zanga zangar dalibai za su fuskanci hukunci duk girman makamu mutun ko aqida ta siyasa Prime Minister na wadannan kalamai ne bayan kwashi kwanaki ana rikici kan wani shirin gwamnati na daukan aiki mai cike da cece ku ce ga Zubair Ahmad da ci gaban rahoton Galibin dalibai a kasar ta Bangladesh na adawar dokar da aka samar a kasar da tawari kashi uku ne yawan gurabin aiki da za a bada da su ga dangi da ƴan uwan wadanda suka yi yakin kwatar ƴancin kan kasar kusan shekaru 53 kenan shugabannin dalibai sun nuna hucin su lokacin da Prime Minister kasar Ms. Hasina ta kira masu wannan ra'ayi da suna Razaka wanda ke nufin mutane da suka taimaka wajen yakin kwatar ƴanci tare da dakarun sojojin Pakistan dalibai dai da suka tsunduma zanga zangar a babban birnin kasar Dhaka su yi tirda wadannan tsare tsaren gwamnatin kasar ইয়াজাহ <laughs> ya ce gwamnati na neman zaman lafiya ba ta muradin kone irin tashin hankali we do not want that such incidents should recur and we will surely take steps in the in the ba mu fatan irin wanda lamari ya sake aukuwa kuma za mu dauke matakai cikin yan kwanaki masu zuwa domin tabbatar da an dakila aukuwar kone irin tashin hankali duk zang zanga na da sassa biyu kuma wani abin lura a nan shine din lokacin da bangare daya ya dauki matakin rage wata lakawa da dadi wani bangare zai ce ana ya masa mulkin mallaka ne an dai samu hatsaniya a babban birnin a yau Laraba bayan da aka girke jami'an tsaro a harabar jami'oyi lokacin da dalibai ke rera wakokin da ke cewa ba za mu bar jini yan uwan mu bai tafi a banza Zang zanga dai na cikin manyan kalubale na farko da gwamnatin Hasina ke fuskanta tun bayan ta sake darewa kan karagan mulki Karo na hudu a jere a wani zabin da ya gudana a watan Janairun Bana wanda yan adawar kasa na jami'ar Bangladesh Nationalist Party BNP suka kaurucewa kungiyoyin kare haƙƙin na Adam na Amnesty International da Amurka sun yi Allah wuri da tashi tashin hankalin da ake samu a kasar inda suka yi kira ga gwamnatin Hasina da ta kauce abkawa masu zanga zangar lumana Agaida Zubairu Ahmad da wannan rahoton to a Najeriya ma batun dalibai ne inda shugaban Najeriya Bol Ahmad Tinubu ya kaddamar da shirin bayar da bashin karatu na kasar a yau shugaban ya kaddamar da shirin ne da za a fada rasa da ke Abuja yan makonni bayan ya amince da fitar da naira biliyan 35 don soma matakin farko na shirin ga rahoton Haruna Shehu Tangaza da yake kaddamar da shirin yayin wani dan takaitaccen buki wanda ya samu halartar shugaban majalisar dattawa da kakakin majalisar wakilai shugaba Tinubu ya ce ya awatar da shirin ne saboda imanin da yake da shi ga cewa ilimi shine babban makami ya kartalauci a kowace al'umma without education there is no vision without education there is no development idan ba ilimi ba ba ingen nesa idan ba ilimi ba bu ci gaba idan ba bu ilimi ba za ka ma iya magance talauci da rashin tsaro da cin zarafi a tsakanin al'umma ba ilimi haske ne a rayuwa dan haka muke saka jari a cikin sa a yayin jawabin nasa shugaban ya tambayi shugaban gidauniyar bayar da bashin karatun dr akintun de soya ko suna da isassun kudin tafiyar da shirin sai shi kuma ya amsa da cewa your excellency at this stage we have more than enough funding mai girma shugaban kasa a yanzu muna da ma fiye da kudin da muke bukata wajen bayar da wannan bashi sai dai wata kila idan muka ci gaba da tallata shi tafiya takan kama mai yuwa zamu nemi kari amma da yanzu muna da kudin da zamu ba duk wanda ya nema da yake yawa mane malabarai karin bayani daga bisani dr soya ya ce dalibai da jami'o'i daga arewacin kasar ne suka fi amfana da shirin a yanzu saboda yadda suka nuna azama wajen neman bashin sabana a kudanci inda ake da shakku game da gaskiyar shirin inda har wasu ke ganin kamar wata yaudara ce 
sai da yace suna ci gaba da kokarin fada karwa ko a kudancin ma domin jama'a su fahimci cewa ba wasan yara bane the most skeptical part of the country is that is in the south you know the question everything is it true is it real Yankin kudu shine inda aka fi nuna shakku game da wannan shiri saboda suna saka ayar tambaya akan komai shin wannan abin da gaske ne kuwa ko da yaudara ce amma muna kokarin ganin cewa mutane sun fahimci cewa wannan abin ba yaudara bane kuma ba wasa bane shugaban kasa ya fitar da kudi domin a yautar da shi kuma za mu rarraba wadannan kudaden sannan ina ganin ko a kudin ma wannan shakkun zai gushe idan muka fara rabon bashin begin to disappear when we start paying out a yayin kaddamar da wannan shirin dai shugaban kasar ya mika check check na kudi ga wasu dalibai da kuma makarantun da suka samu wannan bashin a tashin farko fiye da dalibai miliyan 1 da 200 ne dai ake saran su amfana daga wannan bashin a kashin farko na shirin kuma kawai yanzu gidauniyar Tanel Fund ta samu bukatun neman bashin har 100 da goma Haruna Shehu Tangaza Sasha Hausa na BBC daga Abuja Nigeria to anan kuma shugaban Najeriyar Bola Ahmed Tinubu ne ya nemi majalisan kasar sa amin shi da bukatar yin kari a kasafan kudin kasar na 2024 da naira trilliyan 6.2 majalisar ta aminci da bukatar ta Tinubu wanda shugaban ta Godswill Apai Biyu ya karantu a zaman ta na yau Laraba Senator Muhammad Adam Alero memba ne a committee kasafan kudi na majalisar Dacijan ya kuma ci sa aminci da bukatar shugaban kasar ne saboda maslahar al'umar Najeriya Gadi karin bayani da yawa Buhari Muhammad Fage. Lalle mun samu wannan bukata daga shi shugaba Tinubu cewa yana son a yi gyaran budget wanda muka riga muka passing da shekara ta 2024 saboda dalle masu yawa. Na farko dai akwai karin albashi wanda abin da ke ce ma minimum wage wanda ba ya cikin kasafin kudin da aka yi kuma yanzu ma'aikata sun tayi tsaye haikan suna neman lalle a kare musu albashi kuma dole ne ba wata makawa sai an kare wannan albashi din kuma ba wata doka da za a yi idan ba a fadi hanyar da za a samu wannan kudaden ba to shine ya ga kafin ya kare albashi din bari ya sharafa gituna sai ya turo yana son a yi gyaran budget din na kasafin kudin shekara ta 2024 to takamaime me yake so ayi a cikin wannan gyara a cikin wannan gyara din a samu kudin don idan an kawo mana doka ta minimum wage ya zamba ba sai an ce ina kudin za a samu kudin ba sai wannan shi na farko abu na biyu kuma akwai hanyoyi wanda aka ce ma legacy project wato ayyuka manya manya ayyuka da doko ya fara kuma wasu rarrai kuma zai yi kasafin kudin daga kamar trillion nawa ne ake so a kara zuwa nawa duka duka idan an hada da kudin da a biya ma'aikata da kudin da za a yi ayyuka da su wato project da hanyoyi da sha'anin rere ya kama naira trillion shida to kuma kafin yanzu nawa ne kasafin kudin da kuka amince da shi wancan kasafin kudin trillion 28 ne da rabi idan an hada zai kai trillion nawa kenan duka zai kama trillion 30 35 shin a ina za a nemo wa'annan kudin da za a cike gibin da za a ba wa wa'annan wa'in da za a yi musu karin mafi kankanta albashi dai daga cikin dallan da aka fada shine za a fara biyan tax ga bankuna wadanda ke ta'amali da wadannan waje wato foreign exchange duk foreign exchange transaction da a fara charging nasu wani kaso na kudin da suka samu riba kuma muna ganin wannan balehi bane mu abin da ba mu so a saki cewa talakai ba da kudi don abin yawa talakai wa amma in din bankuna ne bankuna suna samun kudade masu din bin yawa sai ka samu banki guda ya samu wajen rabin trillion wadda riba ce kuma ya samu to muna ganin balehi bane ne ya ce a dibi wani abu daga cikin abin da suka samu riba a yawa mu talaka aiki kuma a cikin kasafin kudin nan an fada cewa za a yi aikin hanyoyi da shi za a yi aikin railway da shi za a yi aikin ilimi da shi za a yi aikin asibitoci da shi a an ji an yi wadannan manyan manyan ayyuka amma ina matsayin majalisa kan wannan shawara majalisa ta abinci ba shakka muna jiran wannan kasafin kudin ya zo musamman na kudaden da za a yi kana albashi da shi saboda mu mun kagar ma ba ya kana albashi ba gaskiya ya zama wajibi gare mu mu saurari wannan kungiyar ta kwadigo shi azaman lafiya kasan nan 
Senator Muhammad Adam Ali Roke na mamba akwamitin kasapun kudi na majalisar dati jan Nigeria. Si kuje shafu muna BBC Hausa dot com do mun samu wasik aram bayani akan wani labarin da maha wasu labarin da muka wallafa. Akwai cin ya dace a mayar da zaben kananan hukumomi hannun INEX ya aje a karanta makala da muka wallafa akan wannan da haka agogo miki cewa karfe 9. Saura kusan kwata a Najeriya da Niger ta kwa saura kusan kwata a gogon GMT da Ghana Umayy Masana Abdul Mumin ke gabatar da shirin dare kai tsi daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC. To gaba a cikin shirin za mu ji yadda gwamnatin jam'iyyar PDP suka gudanar da taron sa a Najeriya amma yanzu bari mu je Ghana. Inda da zane kotun kolin kasar ta dage yanke hukuncin wata karar neman shiga tsakani da Richard Dales Kai da Dr. Amanda Odio suka shigar ta neman hana majalisa mika dokar hana luwai ga fadar shugaban kasa domin amincewa a watannin da suka gabata ne majalisar dokokin Ghana ta amince da wata doka da za a hukunta duk wanda aka samu da laifukan luwai ma dugo da sauran su amma wannan doka ta bar bayar da kora ga rahoton wakili Mufad Adam Mambobi biyar na kwamitin kotun kolin Ghana ne suka yanke hukuncin dage ranar yanke hukuncin karan nan da mutane biyu fitaccen dan jaridan nan a Ghana Richard Delaskai da kuma Dr Amanda Odo suka shigar na neman ta dakatar da majalisar dokoki gabatarwa ga shugaban kasa dokar nan wanda za ta amince a ringa hukunta masu laifin madugo da luwadi a karkashin jagorancin babbar mai shari'a ta kotun kolin Justice Gertrude Otokuno ne masu shari'a biyar kan su suka amince da dage yanke hukuncin domin su kara samun lokacin nazari akai kafin shiga tsakani domin sanin ko za su dakatar da mika shugaban kasa dokar da ake tacece ku ce akai tun bayan amincewa da dokar wanda za ta fara hukunta wanda aka samu da laifin madugo da luwade da sauran su hukunci ciki har da na daure shekaru a gidan yari da majalisar dokokin Ghana tayi aka fara cece ku ce da ta da jijiyar wuya tun dai wasu kananan kotuna kasar ta Ghana suka dage lokacin sauraron irin wannan karar wanda aka shigar gaban su wanda da take janyowa gwamnati shan matsalan lamba a cikin gida da ketare duk da cewa dokar tana samun goyen baya ga mafi yawan al'umar kasar ta Ghana sai dai kawo yanzu babu tabbas kan lokacin da kotun kolin ta kasa za ta yanke hukuncin wannan kara wannan magana dai na ci gaba da zama wani makamin yakin neman zabe yayin da ake shirye-shiryen gudanar da zaben ga magari a watan Dizamba mai zuwa inda magana take ci gaba da jan hankali sosai a dai bangaren kuwa gwamnati ce take ci gaba da shan matsin lamba har da barazana daga kasashen yammacin duniya idan har aka amince da dukar Muhammad Fadi Adam sashin Hausa na BBC daga Accra Ghana a Zimbabwe kuma masu fafutukar kare yakin bil adama ne suka kira da a saki ƴan wata kungiyar adawar kasar da dama bayan wata babbar koto a yau ta yi watsi da daukaka karar da aka shigar kan ci gaba da tsere su kafin a yi musu shari'a an kama gungo mutanen ne a watan yuni bayan wani samame da yan sanda suka kai musu lokacin da suke wata Ghana wa sirri an tuhume su da yin taro domin shirye zanga zanga da yin tashin tashina kungiyar kare haƙin bil adama ta amnesty international ta yi kira ga gwamnatin kasar Zimbabwe da ta kawo ƙarshen samamin da jami'an tsaron kasar kan kai a inda jama'a ke zaune ga fassarar rahoton shinga in yoka daga Amina Sahalu dan tata Alƙalin babban kotun ya bayar da Belin ɗaya daga cikin mutanen na dan takaitaccen lokaci amma ya yi watsi da daukaka karar da aka shigar kan sauran 75 ya ce duk da cewa bai amince da hukuncin garamar kotu ba gaba ɗayan sa hukuncin da kotun majistare ta yanke musu akwai kurakurai a cikin sa a watan yuni wani alƙalin kotun majistare ya hana mambobin kungiyar mai suna The Citizens Coalition for Change Beli bisa hujjar cewa za su iya sake aikata laifin a rana 16 ga watan yuni ne aka kama ɗan kungiyar yayin da suke bikin ranar matasa ta duniya a wani gida mai zaman kansa masu gabatar da kara sun ce suna shirin shirye zanga zangar kuma sun tada tarzo ma lokacin da yan sanda suka yi yunkurin kama su kungiyar kare hakin bil adama ta amnesty international ta bayyana tserewar a matsayin ta rashin hujja wadda kuma ta saba wa kundin tsarin mulkin Zimbabwe ta kira ga hukumomi da su tabbatar da cewa yan kasar za su iya taruwa cikin lumana ba tare da fargabar kama su ba a gaida Amina Sahal din tata da fassarar wannan rahoton to idan muka saki kuma a Najeriya ma batun shari'a ne inda babban kotun tarayya dake Abuja ta mayar da Philip Shaibu kan makamu mataimakin gwamnatin jihar Edo inda ta soke tsige shi da majalisar dokokin jihar Edo ta a watan Aprilu kotun ta ce tsige shi ya saba wa ka'ida kuma ya saba wa kundin tsarin mulkin kasar na shekarar 1999 wakilinmu na Lagos Umar Shehu Elmayya ya aika da karin bayani a cikin rahoton sa
Philip Shaibu da babbar kotun ta mai da shi a matsayin halattaccin mataimakin gwamnatin Jihar Edo tare da makoya bayan sa na cigaba da rugun tsumin murnan samun nasarar sake koma wakan kujera